So talking about decoding the customer desires before they speak. So typically, let's look at as to where do typical customers, enterprises fail. Uh, when enterprises, uh, customers tries to reach out to the enterprises, uh, and obviously through the contact centers, agents, it's frustration, it's helplessness from unresolved queries, uh, it's impatient with delayed responses, and the loss of trust because of unaddressed uh, concerns. And this is where the customer's loyalty and patience and trust gets tested. Uh, and if you take a step aside and look at as to why do enterprises really fail on these aspects. Typically, if you look at the front-facing team, which is there, which kind of interacts with the end users, customers, it's the components of the call center. Call center in itself is a very complicated engine, I would say, with so many moving parts, moving levers, agents, call scripts, telephony systems, their own SLAs. I mean, they have some stronger SLAs than most of us. Uh, now, let's go a deep dive and say, why do agents struggle a lot? Uh, agents struggle because they don't only have to interact with the end user. Uh, they have to go through multiple systems. They have to adhere to a lot of scripts. And that too, within a restricted time, they have to revert, resolve queries for so many customers. It's like a ticking clock for them. And this typically leads to poor performance in CSAT scores and the uh, other reasons. So that's where Rezo comes in, which is a next generation contact center, which is built for tomorrow, where we eliminate the, timeline, uh, the wait times, the uh, handling times, uh, quick resolutions, and ensure a better customer experience. So a typical journey for an enterprise, when they interact with the end customers, it's four stages, reactive, responsive, proactive, and predictive. And enterprises today are majorly sitting on the reactive one when they really should be sitting at a predictive one. This, not, this shift not only ensures better customer experience, better engagement, but it also converts their call centers or the front line from a cost center to a revenue generating uh, function BU. So reactive approach, it's more about just a transactional win where queries come in, agents go through multiple systems, just resolves them, and they're like, oof, it's solved. Uh, responsive approach is more through leveraging the AI where the queries come in, systems know how to do it, resolve it, very good, done and dusted. However, the proactive approach is where it gets really interesting. Uh, you have data sources available with the enterprises which analyzes as to what are the things to be done and basis that does an outreach and proactively uh, resolves or kind of interacts with the customers. Things like EMI reminders, things like possible uh, renewal coming up, things like maybe a network outage, so proactively telling the customers that there is an outage that has happened, and so expect a certain issue for this duration. This is where you really get to start getting the trust of the customer. The customer knows that you are being taken care of, and you are important to the enterprise. And, uh, sorry, and the last leg, which we call as predictive approach, is where customer behavior is analyzed. Customer is understood in a much deeper way, followed by some recommendation engines, and predictive reach-outs are being done. This could be used for upselling and cross-selling to your existing customer base. Uh, and this is where the biggest loyalty, the trust, and the boost in the CLTV happens for the enterprise, as well as the customers are really enjoying that experience. So today, uh, at Rezo, we are kind of solving these challenges, helping enterprises move from the first stage to the last stage, and we work across different industries, different verticals. Uh, we've kind of deployed the, our, our solutions in 25 plus enterprises, and many more are in the pipeline. Uh, so we have 140 plus co-founders in the company. Every employee is a co-founder. Thank you so much.